The Kuwi Space Rescue was introduced in Robocop 2010 in Singapore. The Robocop Junior Kuwi Space Rescue provides a fun and engaging medium for youngsters to develop their computational skills and to get involved in programming and algorithm design. It is to develop autonomous search strategies and approaches for a robot to complete a rescue mission within both physical and cyber coexisting worlds. The Kuwait Space Rescue provides an opportunity for students to explore robotics, artificial intelligence and digital media. It will encourage collaboration, cooperation, competition respect, integrity, sensitivity, compassion and empathy. Each team has a maximum of six members. Each match is played with two teams. The game is played in one real and one virtual world. Each game begins with the robot navigating, collecting objects in world one for three to five minutes. After that, the robot will be teleported to world two to continue the mission. The whole game lasts for 8 minutes. World 1 has a 10 cm width yellow boundary around it. There is no boundary in World 2. The robot will receive its coordinates. An obstacle blocks robot's movement. Objects in the special zone are worth double points. The robot will lose all objects that it is carrying when it moves over the trap. The robot needs to send the collected objects to the collection box. The robot's motor power will be reduced by 80% when it enters the swamp area. Each object is worth different points. The super and super plus objects only exist in world 2. Signal block zones will be generated randomly. While the robot is in world 2, the server will send the robot's coordinates. If the robot enters the signal block zone, it will lose its coordinates. The virtual robot has three ultrasonic sensors to detect the obstacles around it. Two RGB color sensors are used to detect colors. The robot has two driving wheels and one LED. The LED is to indicate the robot's status. A compass sensor indicates the robot's orientation. Each team will be given 100 points at the beginning of the game. There are red, green, black, super and super plus objects on the field. Different objects are worth different points to indicate that a robot has collected an object, it must stop and flash the LED for 3 seconds when a color sensor has detected the object. Different objects are worth different points in the two zones. The Super and Super Plus objects are only in World 2. A robot can only collect a maximum of 6 objects at any one time. A robot must stop and turn on the LED for 3 seconds when it deposits the objects. A robot is only considered to be in the collection box when both color sensors detect the collection box. When a robot successfully exits the orange area after deposition, the points will be doubled. If the robot gets stuck, the points will not be doubled. For every one set of red, green and black objects deposited in one single trip to the collection box in World 1, 
90 bonus points will be rewarded. For every two sets of red, green and black objects deposited, 180 bonus points will be rewarded. One super object will be generated for every one set of red, green and black objects deposited in a single trip in World 2. One super plus object will be generated for every two sets of red, green and black objects deposited in World 2. The generated super and super plus objects can only be collected by the team itself. The super and super plus objects will be placed randomly in the field. The object's locations will be sent to the team who generated the super object. Hundred points will be awarded for the successful teleportation. If the robot falls into a trap, all objects that have not been deposited will disappear and the points for those objects will be deducted. A virtual robot is considered to be in the trap if any of the color sensors detect the trap. It is compulsory for teams to give a team name. Teams will be given a yellow card if they fail to do so for the first time. A red card will be given if the team fails to add the team name for the second time. If there is no progress in a game, play for 10 seconds and the situation is not likely to change, it is called lack of progress, such as when the robot gets stuck. The robot will be relocated to the nearest location with a different orientation and frozen for 10 seconds. If the robot is repeating the same patterns for more than 10 seconds, and the circumstances are not likely to change, the captain can call for relocation of the robot. The robot will be frozen for 10 seconds. If a robot is attacked by another robot, the attacking robot will be relocated and frozen for 10 seconds. No points will be deducted. If two robots bump into one another, both robots will be relocated and frozen for 10 seconds. No points will be deducted. A team may decide to stop a round early. In this case, the team captain must inform the referee about the team's decision to terminate the game. The team will be awarded all achieved points.